Sunday, we know that every fourth Sunday we have our love basket Sunday, right? And so, for those of us who see us, who will see us giving these baskets, don't link it anything with anybody giving no Christmas gift. It's our love basket Sunday, and we give gifts every fourth Sunday. Praise God, everybody! Right? And so, as we know, that I had mentioned it in the group that we have a brother here who actually resides at the infirmary. infirmary he's not here today but we'll make arrangements to give it to him put your hands together for him in his absence and for all of you in your giving we're able to make a nice little package for brother Dawkins brother Samuel Dawkins who normally sits over there everybody should know him that brother that got baptized yes he was a C right now I always said to the saints that if you Give gifts. If you bring things, we'll be able to give more than one or more than two baskets. You hear me say that? Yeah. And the Lord sent an angel, and the angel come from the same place in this church. Yeah. Praise God. And the angel decided to say, you know what? I want to just make people get baskets today. I don't mean everybody now. Praise God. But the angel said that, and the angel went shopping, I tell you. Praise the Lord Jesus. And today we are able to give more than one, more than two, more than three, more than four. You will see what's happening as we go today. Brother Kevin Morgan. Praise the Lord Jesus. Run come, Brother Kevin, as we spread some love in your direction today. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. He's a musician. Praise the Lord Jesus. He's also a part of the Logos Music Group. Praise God. And right now, he's running the cameras. Praise God. Leave the camera and come and collect your basket. Brother Michael Donaldson, put your hands together for him. Today's love basket goes to a missionary who when she talk, all of you feel love. Praise God. Who is that? Missionary Brown, praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, she said, all the pastors tell me to leave. Me not leave, you know, me not leave this church. God bless you, missionary. We love you, we love you. Praise God. You see, we have an associate member in this church. She's been here longer than most of you, praise God. I would pray that she hurry up and get baptized. But most Sundays we come, she's here already. Oh my. Let me get it out. I don't know. I speak of Sister Vinette. Praise the Lord. Is your son, the Sister Vinette. Praise the Lord Jesus. You see how much we love you. People in my show, the Sister Vinette. God bless you. Praise the Lord Jesus. Come, Sister Paula. Somebody hold the baby. Is your son, let to be blessed. Sister Paula Morris. Praise him. Thank you, Jesus. A family who they came here and then for a long time when I see them again. And guess what? They go and fix up themselves, put on ring, yeah, get married, and come back and got restored. I speak of the Moody's family. Put your hands together for the Moody's. Praise the Lord Jesus. This person comes sometime and help them clean up, help them do different things. And he makes sure that the pool always sort out. Praise God. He's also a member of the Logos group. I speak of Brother Paul Hudson. Praise him. Who, I guess, 
years ago she was worshiping at some other church, not sure where. But you know, she was out there in the world for some time. And she used to come here, you know, and she just sit down and I go on, relax. Until one Sunday, yes, something special happened in her life. And she decided to come back to God, praise God. And I'm referring to Sister Ingrid Cummings. Where's Sister Ingrid? I can't find her. She did. And it will come back to you. Oh, yes. Oh, my. Let me your heart and come, Sister. Sister Ingrid, it's your Sunday today. Praise God. All right. I hope you never have bad heart. Touch our Jesus. When you give, oh God. Give yes, Lord. somebody say give. And oh God, oh. thank you, Jesus. You. Somebody just worship, yeah. Good measure, let's down, shake it together. God, I don't know. That was the same missionary that went to Hogar that Sunday when she came back yeah. to God. The Lord would have ordained it to be so. To thank Lord. you, Jesus. My God. Not from this parish, but she came here and she was worshiping somewhere else. And she heard, she figured it out already, you know. She heard the pastor of that church saying, the pastor, little church, we're full of fire. And she go look for little church. Today I speak up. Say, oh, and somebody says she will get husband, about to get husband. She's engaged. I speak up. Sister Evisha Grant. Put your hands together for Sister Grant. We love you, Sister Grant. Please enjoy the contents. All of you, enjoy them, enjoy them. And again, we say blessings on all our givers. Listen, God knows the things. Hallelujah. Your God is true. He knows how you're hurting. Hey, he understands just how your heart has been broken in two. Oh, he's a God of the sun, the stars, the seas. Oh, and he is your father. Church, always try and impress Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Because you have to understand that impressing Jesus means that you have to have the right attitude. Am I talking to the church? And some of you might not understand even the fact that this church has a media ministry because there's somebody who contacted me from abroad and they said that they have something that they wanted to give to somebody. I tell you, we don't preach the prosperity gospel, but it's good when God is prospering us. Isn't that awesome? And the person was able to look on one of the videos and describe an individual and say that they have something to give to the person. I have not received it yet because apparently the person who they left it with is not there. But nonetheless, instead of waiting until I get it to speak about it, I'm just going to bless the person with the knowledge of what it is now that uh, somebody wanted to bless the individual and they started to describe the person. And, and, and she said, after she described the person, I realized, she said, the sister that normally sits on the right hand, on the right side in church, and it is amazing because today the sister chose to sit on another hand. <laughs> Praise God. So if we're doing a live stream, it would have messed things up just a bit. 
But I want to say, praise God, that Sister Williamson, the Lord allowed somebody to pick you out. Yes, 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 yes. The Lord allows somebody. You're going to get it. You're going to get it. But the Lord allows somebody abroad to pick you out specifically. He said they sending something. It's already sent. It's already here. It's just that the person who's to deliver it is not here. But I'm blessing you with the knowledge to know that the Lord loves you. I didn't even know if she would be at church today. I didn't know that she would be at church today. But this is the God we serve. God loves you, Sister Williamson. If you are doubting, the song just said it. He'll do it. But the problem comes when we often want to have just good days. Wouldn't it be a nice thing to come to church every Sunday and receive a love basket? Wouldn't it be a nice thing to come to church every Sunday and somebody hands you something in your hand and say, I know you might be in need of something. Wouldn't it be nice to come to church and somebody smiles at you, hug you, and give you a comforting word? But, 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 the reality is, as long as we are in this life, as long as we are in this flesh, we can't escape the monster of depression. Can I talk to the church? It seems everywhere you go, everybody has a problem. And as soon as they get through one problem, it seems as if another one comes. Am I talking to the church? My brother just spoke about being God's favorite. Oh God, can I talk to somebody? You know who else was God's favorite? Jesus Christ. Oh God, can I talk to somebody? And he taught it not robbery. Oh God, because he gave his favorite to be crucified on the cross. Can I talk to somebody? You've got to understand that when you are God's favorite, then people are going to take notice. Can I talk to somebody? Adam and Eve were God's favorite and somebody took notice and tried to mess up the relationship oh God can I talk to somebody whom the Lord loves he chases he tells us that whosoever God loves are gonna go through something as a child of God I would say stop being worried start fretting start questioning if you find your life it's just a small Mood sailing. If everything that you do, you're just slaying giants upon giants. If you find yourself that there are victories always in your life as a child of God, you need to start question if God is truly with you. Because those who the Lord is with, David was a giant slayer. Can I talk to somebody? When he was 25, he slew Goliath. He was the giant slayer. But then, about 30 years later, Goliath's nephew or his cousin rose up. Can I talk to the church? And they called for David, who was the giant slayer. But at this time, David was a bit older, a bit slower, a bit weaker. Oh God, can I talk to somebody? The giants, he hit 
David so hard. Everybody thought that David was dead. What am I saying to the church? You're not going to always be on the mountaintop. There are going to be days when you have to have a valley experience. The problem comes when we get so acquainted with the mountaintop and we get so comfortable living on the mountaintop but it is impossible to always be on the mountain especially if God has purpose in your life Jesus was living comfortable working as a carpenter but as soon as the Holy Ghost touched him the Bible said he was led by the spirit to be tempted can I talk to somebody Jesus had to leave the comfort of his home the comfort of his family maybe he didn't cook for himself maybe he didn't wash for himself but now because there's a call on him he had to be in a whole wilderness there was nothing of comfort in the wilderness and he was there for 40 days and for 40 nights what am I saying to the church if God loves you there are going to be some times of suffering Paul told Timothy that he had to endure hardness can I talk to the church of the living God you've got to endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ depression is on all of us but I'm not here to encourage anybody to stay in your pity party I'm not here to tell anybody to enjoy living in depression can I talk to the church when the Holy Ghost sent an angel and touched Elijah can I talk to the church and told Elijah it's time to move from under the juniper tree you've been praying here for too long and God has a purpose on your life stop listening to your negative feelings stop listening to the voices that is telling you to dwell on the juniper tree but Elijah stepped out because the word said Elijah it's time for you to go to Mount Herod what does that represent it represents a next level when God was going to talk to Moses the Bible said God called him up on Mount Horeb there is a next level for you to go but you've got to move I've got to pack up pack up your things them man pack up all your belongings them may I change may I dress Johnny Patrillian it's time for me to move I'm stepping out from under the juniper tree no more living under depression no more living under fear no more living under hurt no more living under bitterness I'm coming out stepping out moving out it's time for the next level time to get a move on Devil, devil, come and look. You can't find me. We change me address. Can I talk to the church when Elijah moved out? Little did he know that there was something else for him to do. If he stayed under the juniper tree, his purpose would have been lost. But as soon as he moved out, walking, going, a 
go with his business. He saw a young man. Come here, young man. Can I talk to the church? He saw a young man because somebody else must save. Somebody else must take up the ministry. Somebody else must go to the next level. Imagine if Elijah remained under the juniper tree when he might walk. He would never have met the young man by the name of Elisha. Can I talk to the church? Next level! Next level! Time to move out. Elijah must take up the mantle. Elisha must take up. And as soon as Elijah step out, God said, Elijah, guess what? You are get bigger promotion. You are get bigger privilege. A whirlwind. A whirlwind came from out of heaven with a fiery chariot. Elijah was caught up. The songwriter said, swing low, sweet chariot coming forth to carry me home. You want to make it on the chariot? Move out from under the juniper tree. Somebody open the mouth and give God glory. Take God, you turn a message to a message, no, the messenger arrived. Committed to the journey, so me now go backslide. Looking through the spirit and the physical eyes. Who to God me testify? Know me at the work of God and the boss. My whole life, he endorsed. Take me from the mood and put